It's unboxing time, baby. That's right, guys. It is unboxing time. I haven't done an unboxing on this channel for quite some time, but I'm home alone. I can be as loud as I want, and I just got my package. Now, you guys might have seen in the intro. We have a problem with UPS here. We live in the countryside, so UPS doesn't uh, deliver to a P.O. box. So I always have a difficulty every time that UPS intercepts the package. Now, this package is from a buddy of mine. Every time I, I get stuff from him, always goes to my mailbox. Canada Post takes it. They drop it off the mailbox. No big deal. For some odd reason, UPS intercepted this, and they were the ones to deliver it. So they just wouldn't deliver here. And they are a pain in the butt to get a hold of. I finally did. Gave them my street address, and here it is. Now, I'm going to try and cover all the information. I don't know where it is. It's on the top here. I'm just going to get that off of here. Okay, well, don't look at it. This is from my buddy Selman. You guys know Selman. Runs an awesome cosplay company. And this piece is really special. Um, those of you who don't know, I'm revamping my entire Batman collection to strictly... Michael Keaton Batman stuff and this package here is a brand new cowl I haven't had a brand new cowl in a while except for my holy grail that I got recently this is pretty cool so let's just get her open and you guys can see it for the first time just like me the box is pretty squished. I hope it's not ruined because this piece is really, really cool. Okay. It's probably going to have to sit out of the box. It looks a little wonky. Okay. Oh, God, the box is so damaged. Okay, you guys ready? The brand new Michael Keaton, The Flash. Batman cowl. My buddy Selman was the first one to actually make this. Um, this file is available, like the 3D file of this is available from Art Deving on Instagram. But Selman was the first one to uh, pump her out. And this is the brand new Michael Keaton Batman cowl that's going to be seen in The Flash. And it is pretty incredible. Minor scuffing on it. Like I, I saw here uh, on the side, there's a bit of an indentation, a bit of a battle damage there. But I'm guessing that Michael Keaton's Batman is like 70 or something in the film. He's going to get dinged up a little bit. And then there's a little bit of a ding there on the back. Probably just a mold flaw. But other than that... Everything on here looks pretty freaking flawless. I'm probably going to replace the uh, Velcro there. This doesn't look like enough. And here we have the brand new Batman emblem that comes with it. There's not even any Velcro on there. I'm going to have to attach some myself. So it's really similar to the Returns, but it's just a little bit different. You can see that the top part... Um, is a little bit closer to the bat ears, and then the bottom kind of spreads out a bit. So it's a little bit different, but still resembles the returns. Um, I could probably just hold it in place, I'm guessing, because, yeah, there's no Velcro in here to show it to you guys. But this is made of 40 Shore urethane. The inside of it is dust-coated, so it's a nice easy-on, easy-off. And I'm sweaty because I just finished work. Um, so this should just go on like an absolute dream. So let's put this on and see what it looks like. These, these scallops here in the front for the new design are pestering a lot of people because they seem like aesthetic over function because they, they seem like they would just poke you in the shoulder blades. His, his older cowls kind of came out of the way. You know, these ones poke straight out. It still resembles the Keaton, but it's just a little bit different. Even the ones in the back aren't as as long as they used to be. Now they're just, you know, smaller and 
more defined. You got like some really nice cheek details here and the lines throughout the cowl. At first, I didn't like the cowl um, when they revealed the design. I'm just, I'm an 89 guy. I love the look of 89. And I actually like, I like the returns more than I like this. I just don't like techie, armored looking uh, Batman. I've never really been a fan. This is kind of a happy medium. Like it resembles the older, but is still embracing a newer age of Batman. But enough talking let's just get this on oh and in my own sculpt i i uh i tweaked the nose a little bit because you guys can see that the nose is just really round i sculpted this as well in uh in a 3d software and i i defined this nose a little bit more so my sculpture is a tad bit different because that was the major thing that bothered me about the cowl was it looks really sharp and and techy and all this stuff but then he just has a really round nose and it didn't it didn't, um, it didn't look right with it, but alas, like here it is. I keep talking about it. My buddy Selman just hooked this up for me. I just paid shipping. Um, he's always looking out for me and just like helping me because now I have a kid and I just can't afford the stuff that I used to get all the time. I used to buy a cowl every paycheck and now I just can't. So every now and then he just throws me a bone and he's just like, you know what? Just have it. Just pay shipping. So Thank you, Selman. Let's put this on. Oh, Selman, I believe, offers this in three sizes. Right now, he has the 24, which I believe this is, the 23 available right now, and then a 22, I believe, coming out in a little bit. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> you are? Yeah. I'm Batman. This is so cool. It fits really well, too. I mean, it's a little sharp under my neck. And my nose sits up a little high. But it's like, it's at eye level. And there's not a lot of room in here. Like, it's, it's pretty snug to my face. And these, so let's see. Yeah, I guess these are non, they're not really functional, I guess. Because, yeah, as you can see... Your shoulders would hit these if you really were Batman. Like, in the older movies, they kind of came under the armpit so he could, like, move. But now they go straight out into the, into the shoulder. It's pretty cool. So I'll hold the emblem because I, I don't have any Velcro right now. So there you go. There we go. I'm just going to hold it there. I'm going to attach some Velcro. This is so cool. Like, I have I have my 89 cowl, which is screen lineage. And I'm on the hunt for a real deal returns. And then I'm making payments on uh, the Crisis cowl from Evil Genius. And now I have this. So, as soon as I get a returns, I have every Keaton cowl, and I have the, the Reeves FX one that really reminds me of Keaton. And those will be my five, I believe five cowls, that, and I'm not planning on getting any more, but there are rumors that Keaton might come back for a Flash 2. Not confirmed, but there's rumors floating out there that the director, if he gets to direct the Flash sequel, if there is one, he wants Michael Keaton back. So, there might be another Keaton cowl coming out. But who knows? For right now, I'm just happy with this. This is so cool. Oh. So there you guys have it. The brand new Batman The Flash Michael Keaton 70 year old badass Batman cowl made by my buddy Selman. So cool. And uh, sculpted by Art Deving. So cool. At first, I, I really, it was really hard for me to like the new Keaton outfit just because I love 89 so much. 
But I, to me, Michael Keaton is Batman. So whatever suit he wants to put on, he's Batman. And this is so cool. Really happy with it. Great addition to the collection. Awesome. The Michael Keaton Batman cowl from The Flash. I'm definitely going to try and take a picture wearing this when I go see the movie. I'm not going to wear it in because anyone who wears cowls knows you can't hear very much. And I'm really looking forward to watching the movie. But I think I'm going to take this to the premiere and I'm going to stand outside and take a picture with the poster because it's just so cool. Very spot on too. Like I was on, like I wanted to get one, uh, a new Keaton, obviously, but I wasn't sure who to go with. I was kind of waiting for everyone to finish their sculpts. There's a few people that are working on one, but a lot of them just aren't finished. But Selman was the first one to put one out and he just hit me up and was like, Hey, I'm just going to send you one because you're my friend. You've helped me out because those of you who know, I review cowls here or I used to, and I got him a lot of business. Like a lot of you got, like a lot of the guys that go to him saw my videos and were like, oh, and they went to him. So I got him a lot of business. So he's basically just returning the favor because I, I told him I felt bad that he sends me so many free things and he straight up said, you've gotten me so much business. You started the Cowl Vault costuming group, which gave me a platform to advertise and and get my stuff out there, it's the least I can do. So that's really nice of him, and I'm definitely happy with this. And it won't leave the collection. So yeah. The Flash, directed by Andy Musietti. Michael Keaton, Batman Cowl. Let's get freaking pumped, guys. The movie is, is out in less than two weeks. I am so excited so excited i have never been so excited for a movie michael keaton has always been my batman i'm only 27 years old right now it's actually my birthday this month i'm turning 28 and michael keaton has been my batman since i was a little kid but i never got to see those movies in theater so this is my first time seeing my childhood hero on the big screen and i could not be more excited so Thanks for watching, guys. I know I rambled, but this just had me so excited. I left this, this bin outside hoping it would come today. And we got home and it wasn't here. And then I loaded the trailer and I went to go check just before I came in. And it was there and I was just like, yes! Okay. So now I have it and it's, it's so cool. And yeah. Michael Keaton, guys. I'm so excited. So excited. All right, guys. Peace out. Be good people.